Hi, Lou and Glenn. Good morning. We're just getting battered again by another round of rain, heavy rain here right now. And yes, behind me, check out the K-Rails. There's three to four feet of mud that's built up behind the K-Rail here at the bottom of the hillside here above Mel Canyon. And you can see how it's been seeping through and you can see the streams of mud going down the street. You can also see uh, that a tree fell down. Also, the ground very saturated and it's also very windy out here this morning. We've seen a Duarte fire trucks making the rounds here, monitoring the change conditions. Now, despite this super soaker out here, Duarte public safety officials tell us that they feel fortunate so far, have lucked out during this storm, but are still watching things very closely. Right now, what we're going to be doing is doing an assessment at noon today to find out when we can reopen the streets. We do plan on lifting the yellow alert at 6 p.m. today, as long as we can open up the streets. Yeah, I can see some of the water and a little bit of the mud seeping around the K-rails. Is that a concern? Uh, no, not at this point. Um, we're, we're anticipating a little bit more of the mud and debris flows um, and real minor in nature as we have the off and on kind of heavy downpours. Uh, but it's intended to stop at about noon today, which is why we're going to do our assessment at that point. There's about two dozen homes here below the fish fire burn scar area that fall under the yellow alert that's been in place. Now, thankfully, everyone seems to have weathered the storm here so far because of the debris flows back in 2016 following the first fish fire and then the second one last year. Duarte tells us the city has been planning for weather for months. These K-rails that you see on the street, they've been in place here since last October as a precaution. Everyone hoping the worst of the storm may be behind them and that these K-rails hold. Again, if we pan back around, you can see the streams of mud in the street here above Mel Canyon at Brookridge Road. And again, Lou and Glenn up here, the three to four feet of mud that's accumulated behind the K-rail here at the bottom below this burn scar area. A lot of the debris here you can see that's built up in the water passing through so again uh, city officials continue to monitor this situation as we will too throughout the day for now back to you in hollywood all right sarah thank you Well, Orange County, uh, not safe for the winter storm either. Yeah, KTLA 5's Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost is live in Seal Beach with a look at the conditions there. Good morning, Chip. Yeah, hey there, Glenn and Lou. We're here at the Seal Beach Pier in the parking lot. You can see some of the water has taken over part of the parking lot here. We've been getting a nice dose of rain and wind here over the last hour or so. Let's show you some more video from here and get you up to speed on what we know so far. As far as Seal Beach goes, you heard from Casey there talking about how this pat pattern is supposed to be going inland in a little bit. We did hear that. We expect that to happen a little later. We were also told that the Seal Beach area, Long Beach area was going to get this dose around this time. It did. Um, you can see some of the wind and rain there in your video. The good news so far is though we haven't heard of any damage or any problems from the wind and rain. There is a high surf advisory in effect for Orange County, but it's not expected to be as bad as it was last week. Remember last week that high surf advisory, that high surf that hit the Seal Beach area did some damage to the pier. The pier here in Seal Beach still closed because of that, but as far as any issues with flooding, that kind of thing, they've had the berms up here. They seem to be doing their job. They've got crews in place in case anything happens as far as having to pump some water out. If the water gets around the berm, so far not seeing any issues there, but everybody keeping an eye on it. They're also keeping an eye, of course, on Silverado Canyon, the bonfire burn area. We talked to some of the county officials and fire officials about that. They tell us right now there are no issues in that area, but of course they're monitoring. There are also no evacuation orders, voluntary or mandatory, in that area right now. They don't expect to have to issue any, but they are keeping an eye on it because the rain, as you heard from Casey, and we just talked about a moment ago, is going to be moving that way sometime soon. From there, reporting live here in Seal Beach, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, thank you, Chip. The search for a five-year-old boy has been suspended in San Luis Obispo County due to bad weather conditions there. The child was swept away in rising floodwaters yesterday. After his mother's car got stuck in the San Marcos Creek bed in San Miguel near Paso Robles. Neighbors pulled the woman to safety but could not reach the boy in time. The child's father says his wife and son were on their way to school yesterday morning. He said there were no road closure signs, so his wife decided to keep driving. But the car eventually became stuck. 
Officials have ordered mandatory evacuations for the entire community of Montecito up in Santa Barbara County. Residents are urged to leave due to unprecedented rainfall. The town was inundated by more than seven inches of rain in just 12 hours yesterday, with more expected today. Major flooding and the threat of massive debris flows has the community on alert, fearing a repeat of the deadly mudslides that happened five years ago. Montecito is home to many celebrities, including Oprah, Ellen DeGeneres, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In Chatsworth, the storm led to a massive sinkhole and two vehicles fell in, prompting a very careful rescue operation. And that sinkhole now keeps getting larger. KTLA's Alina Abovian is in Chatsworth with the very latest. Hi, Alina. Lou and Glenn, good morning. You know, the sun is slowly starting to come out, but the rain already did its damage out here. We have a sinkhole, a pretty giant one that just keeps growing. Now, the erosion is actually somewhat moving toward us, so we have moved a little farther out. But from this vantage point, you can see just how big it really is. And where we are, we are right underneath the 118 freeway. This is off the Topanga Canyon exit. Now, this street, thankfully, is not a very busy one. It's called Iverson Road. However, people are still driving driving by to take pictures and to see this place. We certainly do not advise that you do that because it is still a dangerous situation out here. LA Public Works, as you can see, has a perimeter, but again, this sinkhole is growing at this hour. Now take a look at this. This is cell phone video that I shot a few minutes ago. This is as close as we could get to the two cars that fell in yesterday are both still down there. In fact, the cars are sinking deeper in. This was a very heroic but dangerous rescue yesterday. It all started last night around 7:20, a mother and her 14 year old daughter were driving down Iverson when their car a Nissan fell in and got swallowed up by this giant sinkhole. These heroic images show the rescue the mother and daughter hoisted out of their vehicle by rescuers. The mom apparently didn't see the sinkhole as she was driving through this area yesterday. It was very dark and pouring. Once their vehicle fell in, a pickup truck then fell uh, on top of them, stacking on top of their vehicle. Just a terrifying, frantic moment. The woman's husband telling us yesterday off camera that he got a call from his wife. She was in a panic, and then suddenly the call dropped. A total of four people were stuck last night. The two people in the pickup truck were able to get themselves out. They crawled out of the sinkhole, but the mother and daughter, because of the severity of their situation, they had to wait until first responders came to their rescue. It took first responders with the LAFD, LA County Fire, Ventura County Fire about an hour to get them out. First responders putting their own lives in clear danger last night to save the mother and daughter. This was a high risk operation where we, we implemented our risk gain assessment where we had to risk our, our personnel to save the others and they were viable and we needed to put that into play. Had we not acted in the way that we acted, uh, we could have seen catastrophic failure. <clears throat> Now, the good news is no one was seriously injured last night. The mother and daughter were taken to a nearby hospital, but both are said to be in stable condition. Now, back out here live, LAFD, they were out here last night. We have not seen anyone this morning, no one from LADWP, no one from Public Works, which is quite a surprise considering this sinkhole is continuing to grow. Our guess is they're just dealing with bigger problems this morning considering uh, the crazy weather. That is the very latest. I'm Lena Bourbon reporting live here in Chatsworth this morning, KTLA 5 News.